basically rebounding utilizes the fluid of our body as a therapeutic force. Um, we've all known since grade school that we're 70% fluid or so. But then healthcare kind of forgot that. Just like healthcare also forgot Einstein's genius of E equals MC squared and how we're solidity is an illusion, you know. So um, with rebounding, you start to touch the person very gently as you do with all forms of myofascial release. And you start a oscillatory motion. You feel through the body. You then are generating a fluid wave. Now the art of this is you have to initiate the motion into the patient. But as you build a momentum fluidly, uh, you start to tune into their rhythm. So the art is to tune, in, tune into their rhythm so you do not, they do not have to go into uh, defense. The way I describe it is imagine we have a saucer full of fluid. The rim of the saucer would represent the mental protection. So the key is to keep the fluid within the rim of the saucer so the patient doesn't have to go into protection. And, it, you know, our protective responses are so powerful that this acts like a stealth fighter. It feels so good that all of a sudden you're beyond, beyond all the defenses. You're into something very deep that had not been accessed by anything else in the most gentle and, and safe way. Again, nobody's ever forced. Um, <clears throat> it's a very powerful experience. It's an oceanic experience after a while. Uh, it takes you into a whole other dimension. It's an educational experience because your body now is being moved in a way it may have not moved for a while, so it can reclaim a lot of that motion potential. Um, you've all seen videos of um, hurricanes, huge waves lashing against the shoreline. And over time, those huge waves, that rhythm, power, breaks down old structures. Well, that's what happens in our body on the cellular level. So it helps to flush out all the toxins that have been trapped there for a while, all the solidification of the ground substance that gets in our way, the crosslinks. It's also a well-known fact the uh, group of soldiers is walking or marching and they get to a bridge, the commander will tell them to break their cadence because that rhythm could destroy the bridge. So it gets that powerful. And uh, it, like many other forms of myofascial release, cause, creates what I call resonance. There's a certain point where it seems that all the molecules begin to vibrate in unison. And it is this resonance where the energy starts to flow. This is where the information, the buried information, the emotions that have been buried start to surface. Uh, this is what helps to rehydrate that which has become solidified from trauma and inflammation. So resonance is really what we're after, whether it's structural MFR, unwinding, rebounding, they all come at a different way for it.